Scott Dune, I'm pretty excited. Starfield's next update is a big one, which includes 60 frames per second, mode for Xbox Series X. No S mentioned there, but we'll get into that. Detailed surface maps and more. Jordan Midler over at VGC. Bethesda has detailed the next Starfield update, which includes improved surface maps and new performance options, among other features. Update 1.11.33 which is available now on Steam Beta ahead of its general release on May 15th. There you go, Scott. May 15th. Not that far away. Includes detailed surface maps, something we've been all asking for right from the beginning of the game, Scott. The minute the game yeah. dropped, we we're like, these maps are horrible. Nice to see these change completely. Dude, the amount of detail in these things now? Like, this is night and day. This is a whole other level of work they put into this. Something fans have been requested since the release of the game, like I mentioned. These maps show every piece of geometry in the area, including remote locations rather than just large cities. Players can now also see makers, oh, markers for important locations in large cities, such as shops, mission locations, and more. Scott, like, why wasn't that there from the very beginning of the game? Yeah, that really seems like kind of a basic element that should be in any ginormous open world <laughs> adventure game. Absolutely. Yeah, it seems a bit of an odd one, right? An extreme difficulty has been also introduced. No thanks, Scott. I bet on that one. Not even close for me. <laughs> How <laughs> did you find the difficulty in that game? I can't recall. I played it on normal like I try to play most games. It depends if I'm in a time crunch or not. But yeah, I normally play in normal. Yeah. And I was doing okay. Like, I was having a good time. I may have died once or twice, but... Nothing like I was struggling. No, no way am I going to the extreme difficulty. That is never going to happen no. for me. You know that. <laughs> uh, that's, for, that's for somebody on New Game Plus <laughs> Plus. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Players can now customize the interior of their ships, similar to the way the players could already customize their homesteads. This includes changing the position of furniture and other decorative items. Dude, I saw this. I thought this was really cool. We can already create cool ships. Now we can work on the inside too of what how our ship is all laid out. Like you basically get into an empty hull of a ship and then just like go where you want everything. And whether like the desk, the chairs, it doesn't matter. Like it is, my goodness, there's going to be some time spent just doing that, creating that, making your ship now technically like really detailed to your ship. I think that's the highlight of it all, right? I was like, man, this is cool. I can make my ship be my ship. But I couldn't go on the inside and refine everything there. Now you can, coming on May 15th, which is has that me seems, pretty excited. <clears throat> that seems like another aspect to the customization that I kind of would have expected to be there. I hadn't thought of it specifically because people still spend so much time in the <laughs> outer crater. Yeah. So you know somebody's going to spend a lot of time. I wonder if we'll get a replica of certain ships that we've seen in movies or whatever. Uh, I'm, I'm sure we're, we've already seen some in, amazing and incredible <laughs> ships created. Now, when we get to the inside, it's just do the time. <laughs> it's the time that scares me, right? Like, that's the biggest. How much time are you going to spend not only creating the outside, the look of your ship, and now on the inside and the, how that feels and is all laid out? Yeah, I'm going to jump in. I probably won't dabble too much with it, but I definitely, uh, you never know. I might get sucked in. Yeah, it's kind of, I do like going for that grind, right? Coming back and then building stuff. So, yeah, this could be, this could be a dangerous mm -hmm. update, Scott. The update will also Another 80 hours. Ah, no, <laughs> maybe. The update will also change the game's performance mode on Xbox Series X. The performance mode will now target 60 frames per second, and for users with VRR display, a 40 FPS option will be available. Quote, you can now choose between 30, 40, 60, and uncapped frame rate on VRR displays. End quote. Bethesda said, quote, if you do not have a VRR display running 120 hertz, you will still be able to select from 30 or 60. Screen tearing may occur at times when selecting 60 for a non-VRR display. You can now prioritize between visuals and performance while trying to maintain the frame rate target. If you're choosing a frame rate target of 60 or above, we recommend changing this to performance. Prioritizing visuals keeps the highest resolution while maintaining full detail for special effects, lighting, and crowds. Prioritizing performance lowers internal resolution and detail for special effects, lighting, and crowds. Both modes may adjust internal resolution dynamically when scenes or action get heavier as well. When switching between modes, you, you will see the lighting change briefly as the system change or catches up with the new mode." End quote. At the end of the video, 
uh it was also confirmed that bethesda is working on the first land vehicle my goodness thank god scott <laughs> <laughs> yeah talk about another feature that everybody wanted <laughs> from day one absolutely <clears throat> i'm hoping it's i know it's a land vehicle but i was hoping for a little hover bike well i wonder how much we can customize it right or is it just mm -hmm. you go to the shop you buy it you drop it and you just ride this thing and away you go or is it a matter of you can now customize this thing dude just like your ship i i hope we can <laughs> I hope that's. The, I want my land vehicle to be my land vehicle, just to it, like how my ship is my ship. And if you want to spend that time customizing it all, and building it up, and gathering resources, dude, I'm gonna. Ha oh man, I'm back. I'm back. Good job, Bethesda. <laughs> yeah. I think I just want uh, a Halo Warthog in the game. I think that's just the vehicle I want. <laughs> so I wonder that because tactically, right? Bethesda is owned by Microsoft. Dude, they can collaborate mm. with 343 make that happen they can easily make that happen that can be a thing without it or if we customize dude you can make it happen yourself right that, that's the other side but Bethesda's Todd Howard confirmed this week the Starfield Shatter Space story expansion will be released this fall and is reportedly targeting a September launch date he also reassured fans that Starfield will update console mods and that the creation kit modding software is coming soon. Bethesda released Fallout 4 long-awaited next-gen update for Xbox Series XS and PlayStation 5 last week. Scott, I'm excited, man. I, these are some much-requested features and a much-needed update, I think, for the game. I jumped in the other day and I was like, I know there's an update coming. No details mm. were given at the time, but I'm going to wait. And then, yeah, nope, this is the right decision, dude. I'm waiting, because the minute that update drops, now I'm in, right? Will we get the land vehicles on May 15th? I don't know. I hope so, because there's nothing worse, dude, than landing on a planet, and then you're, like, hightailing it, walking, and mm -hmm. then you have to then walk all the way back. And it is such a... Oh, man, it, it's just so empty sometimes to do that distance, right? It's just, I don't want to do that. And that's one of the reasons why it kind of pulled me out at the end of my 80-hour play session. I was like, I don't want to do this again. I don't want to walk around this empty area of a planet. And then I find a settlement. I'm like, oh, cool. Now I'm into the settlement. And then I'm walking all the way back to my ship. It's just certain things I just didn't want to do. Seems like all of this is about to get fixed. Nice. Like, we're almost coming up on a year, right? Almost. Mm -hmm. It's been September the game launched. Shattered Space is coming in September, which lines up for the one-year anniversary. Makes a ton of sense. So we get this patch note, these de these details, this update. It's going to pull a lot of us, and myself included, back into the game and get ready for the next update, which sounds pretty big. Dude, like, it sounds big. So oh. I'm excited. Being a Bethesda game, we're supposed to play this one for, you know, a decade plus. So I expect yeah. a lot of these changes to continue on. Maybe at the two-year mark, we get another chunk of DLC. It's enough to pull everybody back in for another 80 hours, and I could see that being a success that way. I like the idea of the vehicles <clears throat> being added into the game uh, oh, yeah. in addition to the mod support because the modders will... If I want a hover bike, I very well might get one. <laughs> Absolutely. But we want you to check us out over on ITGTV.com. We're there. You keep up to date with everything we do and our socials.